Wow, wow, wow. So if you watched the first episode of our dino sessions here, and yes, it was a little bit lengthy, um, you saw how Dad's LA Fit motor turned out some really, really good numbers. Now, is that thing maxed out? Well, we got a couple adjustments we can make to it and what have you to really get some more power out of it, should we choose. One of the big things is the oil pressure, and the other big thing is, of course, um, taking care of those headers, right? Those exhaust headers are too small and really restricting some power on that thing. So you can do the math based off of uh, what Mr. Eddie Voss said. So we are now ready to go ahead and get some dyno pulls on the 390 stroker that'll be going into Project Fast Fish. And I am really, really looking forward to it. I am hyped up about it because I'm curious to see what kind of power it makes. Now, Pop is thinking, about 425 horsepower range. I'm thinking in the fours, but not as high as 425. Um, so we'll see where it goes. Now, um, the specs should be running for you in the uh, uh, subtitles and such, and on, on the little title displays here on the screen as I'm talking and as they're putting the engine up here on the video. And uh, yeah, we got a pretty stout motor. Now, nothing fancy on here. It's hydraulic um, cam. It's flat tap it. It's been broken in. Um, let's see here. Hydraulic lifters, uh, you know, some other things that are in there. We got 1.6 ratio rockers and uh, what have you. And uh, the heads are steel heads. Now, are we going to be able to turn 6,500 RPM range uh, like uh, they're advertising there from Crane? I don't think so, but, you know, we're going to find out what this thing is capable of and quite frankly i'm looking forward to it so uh let's get started and uh let's hear this thing run quieter. That's got my race car, doesn't it? No, not, not, not as loud as yours is. Yours had a lot more volume to it. that 32.3 all right okay what do you want to go to 5500 with this thing or yeah it could be a good first one. if that's what you think is good i just want to hit it a little lower maybe 45. Well, 55 is good i think yeah you're going to run start at about 38. okay uh, you're going to do it in short segments yeah, it's under RPM. Yeah, I'll do a 600 RPM pull. That is a stout little street motor. 
Yeah. <laughs> Amen. And that's only a 55. It's not climbing as hard as the other motor is. It's not going. It's not going. Okay. Doesn't have the airflow to support it. Now some of the motors that they, they're saying they only run about 5,800 RPMs. Uh, so I, I don't know. I'm going to slow the cool down to 300. Well, let's see what it does. All right. So, what do we think red line is for? Well, that, that's that's, that's depending yeah. on what the block in the bottom end is going to hold. Right. I don't know if the top right, end will right support. Now that, right now, that thing, unless you do a bunch of work on the carburetor, that thing's done at about 5200. Yeah. All right, 52. Okay. 52, but you could ship. You know, you can run this thing. You know what I would do? I take a picture of this and I put two degrees of time in it. Two degrees. Go ahead and take it up to two, two degrees. Yeah, that'd be 34, 34 degrees. degrees. Right. Okay. Cool. I always default to the wizards. <laughs> I built another decent motor. Yeah. <laughs> and damn, I'm getting old and I'm not going to do this anymore. Yeah, that's All right, what we need to do now? Are we, are we done with what we're doing? I think we're done.